Hey guys, this is Shinx and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So, in this video, we'll be doing a smoker review on like, basically his gameplay and whether you should summon for him or not. Because his banner is actually quite expensive, like it costs 50 gems per step and it's a 5 step banner. So, I don't think you should do it unless you have enough. So, yeah. But let's just go look at him. So, okay, at 6 star, his stats has... I can't remember the HP, but I know he has almost 1,500 attack and 1,600 plus defense. Almost 1,700. This is pretty insane because if you remember the time skip Zoro, he has 1,600 defense also. And he tanks pretty well. Even though I ran attack build on him. So, yeah. I think this smoker will be pretty, pretty decent also. Like, he has his uh, attacker with a defend... That can defend tank pretty well also. So, yeah. He's a blue defender though, which is kind of sad. But, I mean, Stampede, the free Luffy is actually blue attacker. So, yeah. Pretty good. Okay, so I only have him at 4 star, but we shall try a bit of Private Battle and Survivor 100 to see how well he does. Okay, so his skill 1. Don't you look away. Um, It's a 2 hit attack. So the first hit is actually at level 5, it's actually 539 skill attack. Then the step 2 is actually a 323. So this essentially is a add up skill attack of 850-62 yeah somewhere there so it's a mid-range attack that knock back the enemy which is very pretty nice a short cooldown of 30 seconds which is pretty decent then next will be where do you think you're going so this is a mid-range charge attack with a stun chance to stun and attracts the enemy to your current posi position so this one from what I see, right, it's like a black hole thing. So once you cast it and it the smoke affects the enemy, they'll be drawn towards you and it's a guaranteed stun. Then it's a pretty nice combo to combo with your skill one. Yeah. Which is the one that has the DPS. And I'll talk a bit later because of the additional 20% damage to enemies that are being stunned. So okay. Then this has a pretty, at level 5 you get a speed debuff, which is definitely nice and it nullifies stagger for a set period of time. Then it has, also has a cooldown of 27 seconds which is very short and later he also has a trait that reduces the cooldown time. So, oh my god, this guy is pretty pretty good. So his traits, when receiving damage, 15% chance to reduce damage by 30%. Pretty decent, like, it's not... Like I said, something like this is not that reliable, but when it happens, it's pretty nice. So, yeah. Then, trade one. When in area around your captured treasure, reduce damage by 30%. Uh, standard defender trade. When your strength is more than 80%, resist stagger effect. This one, you can use it. This is nice when you can, because you can just go in there and cast your skill one, and you can resist stagger. Being staggered. Then, trade two will be... Basically, when he's at 5 star, when your allies are not near your treasure, you are at boost cooldown reduction speed of skill 2 by 50%. So, this is. This makes him kind of a. a lone defender thing where you are at your own treasure, but your allies are not near with you. You can pretty much hold your own grounds. And the last part of trade 2 will be when dealing damage to your enemy with stun, increase damage dealt by 20%. Very, very nice traits and skills looks pretty good then okay let's just go take a look at the how he do in the survivor 100 oh my god i just ran out realize let me go and exchange the where where is okay here so Let's just go for it. 
Oh my god, I just realized I had extra of the passes. Okay, so we will look at the normal attacks and his skills. Okay, okay. His art looks amazing. Like, he's really, really, really good. Then his stick also got longer. Like, if you realized... Okay, so this is his normal attack. It's a kind of a charged one, but it's not a lot of charge. It's the last hit that has the charge. So, yeah. And it also tracks around the enemy, which is pretty decent. So, okay, the first hit kind of... You won't really expect it to hit much, but you can use your second hit to hit the enemy. And it looks really, really cool. Okay, so I'm going to show the... Okay, skill 1. It's, it's a 2 whack as you can see. And I think if it's closer, you can do more... Um, you can hit both of the skill attacks. So, okay. I want to show skill 2 later. So, yeah. As you can see, it, if it goes... If it goes towards the... Okay, because of how his last hit is a charge attack, if the enemy managed to uh, escape from you and he he just he starts attacking you, you will move towards him and yeah, something like this. Which is very, very nice. Okay, another skill 1 attack. And okay. I'll see if I can show skill 2. Yeah, I really, really like his normal attacks. It's pretty damn, pretty decent. Okay, skill 2, right, is pretty much a uh, attack that is kind of like a black hole thing. I want to see if I can get someone that doesn't really die to show the stun or so. Okay. Let me just get rid of these peoples. Oh, oh, okay. Let's just use it. Oh, okay. Never mind, they got... They died. Oh my god, the skill is actually very very good. Okay, okay, let's just quit this. Okay, so next we'll be going into the private battle where I can see I wanna see how well he does in a normal match. So hopefully we don't get paired with six stars like it's gonna be very very like okay my team that I'm using now right is with 123.9% support percentage boost so i would say his stats is not so bad to be honest okay so um at the moment i currently really really like him like i will definitely put him at about maybe at least a s yeah because the stun effect is pretty nice and it's not like shock or entrance where Luffy doesn't really get affected like uh, stun if I run wrong it still affects Luffy then his skill 2 is a kind of a black hole thing where it affects everyone in the area and it sucks them close to you which means that your friends can even if you don't combo it into your skill 1 your allies will can will be able to use their skills to help because they are all stunned up so yeah, look at that art, man. Okay, okay. So okay, looking at this, his art, right? It reminds me of the smoker, Tash smoker Tashigi, Tashigi po possessed smoker form. Basically, the female smoker. <laughs> okay, nice, nice, nice. We got a pretty nice, nice. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's go, let's go. So his dodge also pretty nice, like okay, it's the normal smoke smokers dodge which is okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the midpoint. Actually no, there's a chopper. I'm just gonna go ahead and wreck him a bit. Let's see if I can go up to the point first. I got a feeling he Oh nice. Oh, okay. Oops, sorry. 
Oh my god. Okay, so just now if he dodged the first one, there's a chance where your second one and third one will miss. Okay. His normal attack is pretty nice. Okay, let's just go ahead and start killing more people. Okay, okay, that's a Luffy right there. Oh, the mid range. Nice dodge. Oh, oh, oh my god. I was like, are you not gonna... Oh, I need to kill the... I need to start, start using my skill more. Okay, I'm, I'm damn scared of him that... Oh my god, he dodged it. Okay. I wanna beat out the dodge. Oh, no, nah, 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 I killed him. Okay, get a flag. Damn it, I have to climb all the I have to go all the way until the opposite side. Then I can Not bad or bad. My bots are doing well. Okay, I, I wanna use the skill. Okay, so yeah, he he drew them over and he can use no. Oh my god, what's with that smoking sound? Huh, okay. Oops. Oh, oh so there was a glimpse of the free Luffy's uh giant fist, Gianto Fisto, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Nice. I need to lock him back. Nice. Get the flag. Get the flag. Easy game. Should be good. You should go it. Okay. So all in all, he seems really, really, really good. Like. His skills are, of course, MVP or MVP. So, okay. Let's just talk about his banner a bit. So, okay. So, as you guys know, his banner is 5 steps with guaranteed stampede smoker. So, each step costs 50 gems, which is pretty expensive, to be honest. Like, I, if it was a step up, I would definitely ask you guys to go for it. But, here's the thing. Uh, it costs 250 gems and sure they give you quite a they give you some gems but it's not enough to do everything so and there we know that there will be a stampede sabo that's coming up next and there's a chance that he might be better than even smoker so yeah so okay let's look at the drop the drop rates drop rates is at two percent which is which means that if you complete this whole cycle, the chances of you getting Smoker to 5 star is relatively high because the step 2 and step 4 guarantees you a 4 star guarantee. And if the rates are 2% for Smoker, the chances of you getting Smoker being the 4 star guarantee is relatively high. So yeah, I guess it's pretty easy for you. And I heard that um, someone... One of the guys, Alex, right, he 6-star him without spending over 1k. And I think that's pretty nice because of the rates. Like, each time you get a 5-star, it's 2% chance of you getting um, Stampede Smoker. And it's even better than the... The rates is even better than the time skip rate ups. So, yeah. And I guess if you have a lot of gems and you really, really like him... You can definitely invest for him. Currently, I feel like he's he should be at least a maybe a S minus S tier. Yeah, he's definitely not S plus. I think, but yeah, he's definitely uh the one of the S or S minus tier. So hopefully, you guys learn a bit more about Smoker, and it helps you the on deciding whether you guys will pull on him or not and yeah if you want to see more one piece bounty rush video consider subscribing to my channel 
for if weekly uh, One Piece Bounty Rush videos and other games. So, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.